wearing my hoodie? Yes, I am. Filming in my hoodie? Yeah, because I'm freezing cold. Okay. Okay. You quiet, Dan? That's better. I try to understand. I try to hold your hand. But I don't think I came through. Hi, guys. So, welcome to another one of my vlogs. I feel like I've been vlogging a lot lately. Probably most of the videos that have come out have been vlogs because I've had nowhere really to sit down and film. So, everything is kind of filmed in between. The renovation that's been going on in my house so if you don't know anything about the renovation that's going on in my house right now um i definitely recommend that you go back and you take a look at some of the previous videos that i've done uh, hopefully i'll leave a link somewhere around here for you to go check that out so you can just get caught up on kind of where i am on my journey my financial freedom journey as you can tell, my financial freedom journey and um, my journey to create online income and also to create income through um, properties and through real estate and flipping and whatever kind of different things you want to talk about. So definitely go check out some of those videos to kind of get a feel for where we are now. But right now, um, we are getting so much closer to the top of the house being done, which is basically what this whole renovation has been about. So I'll take you up there to have a look and show you um, how that's been getting on and kind of how far we've got with that. I was up very late last night painting um, and so was my partner. So yeah, we're tired of that. But I thought I'd also keep you guys up to date with what's going on in the online world with things that I'm doing. So. During this time that I've had the top half of my house ripped down, my home office has been pulled out, ripped down, destroyed, so that we can turn our two bed house into a three bed. Um, I've also been launching a course online. I've also been running, obviously, my art printable business that I have. I've also been trying to keep track of my finances and the finances and the spending that's been going on here. So it's been really hectic, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys some a little bit of a catch up on what I've been doing. So I'm really sorry, I look a mess. I am freezing cold because we've got all the windows open because we've uh, had the plasterers in last night to finish off one of the rooms. So we're trying to get that room really dry. So I've stolen one of Richard's just jackets so I can keep warm. But yeah, I thought I would just show you guys um, what, uh, what's been going on in the online world with me. So like I said, I've been launching a course, a course sale actually, it's the course that I have, the Art Principles on Etsy course. Um, and I just like to every now and again put, do a sale on that course so that people who maybe don't want to buy it at the normal express price or the, the normal price can get it at a discount and I try and strategically do it every couple of months. Um, I think I'm gonna give myself three months for the next launch um, so it's close to Christmas time so I can get give myself all the organization that I need to get that done. I just wanted to keep you updated on how that's gone so I think I have mentioned it in some of the previous videos but if I just flip this round then you can kind of see how we've gotten on. So it was, it's was it been over a five day course sale. So this is kind of normal for me. Usually I have an email sequence that goes out with the video, uh, with um, the open day. So on day one, as you can see, we had a spike um, where it was uh, $3,704 from the first day of the course launch. Then the second day was $1,039. Third day, $964. Fourth day, $390. And then today we've only just started this. There's already been a sale. Now, this isn't because I use Teachable. Sorry, I'll wait for the noise to finish. <laughs> Um, he's making a wardrobe up there. Now, because I have two payment options for my course, I have where you can purchase the course fully during the sale, and you can also get an extra 15% off if you do that, but I also have it so you can have a three payments. So this, it, the final number here, uh, this one here, so this is how much revenue is made, and this is how much I'll actually earn from this course uh, overall. Um, but this here is not actually correct as to how much money I will get once all the payments have gone through, because I've worked out that this actually only counts. So for example, if someone's doing a payment of $75 uh, dollars 
three times that this will only count the first time that they make that payment so it will come across as only $75 even though they will eventually be paying two more times so actually if I want to work out the entirety of how much money I've made then I need to work out how many people have purchased the um the payment plan and then kind of add two more payments to each person just so I can work out exactly how much this course will make at the end of it as long as obviously everybody pays for their payments but yeah so I just wanted to kind of keep you guys up to date with that because that was something that is going on that's quite big at the moment so yeah basically that's been happening and whilst I've been letting that run really I really like to keep myself completely organized with it so I planned and scheduled everything for the course launch in advance so basically it's just been running over the last couple of days and i've just been keeping on track of it and obviously welcoming anybody new into the group into the course into the facebook group that we have and then just answering any questions and just chatting with you guys and just getting your take on kind of where you want to go with your journey of building your online income and um, so i've just been doing that but Whilst I've been doing that, I've also been painting and tidying the house. So this has been the first launch that I've ever kind of had to let the launch do its thing. Whilst I have really not been able to um, just sit there staring at it all day, which is what I used to do when I first did it. Even though, you know, it doesn't need me to stare at it. Now I just kind of give myself strategic times per day that I can go look at it, see what needs help, see what needs guidance with. But I've also got my notepad because I've got tons of things that I need to get done today including going shopping for some house stuff um, that we need to get just because we're nearly at the point of being able to finish off the house so I'm going to give you a tour of upstairs of what it looks like and then I'm going to finish off my to-do list that I'm writing up everything I need to get and then hopefully I'm going to get to take you guys um, shopping with me I might have to switch to my camera phone my normal phone to do that because this is about to run out of battery but yeah I will hopefully be able to take you guys shopping with me and we'll go do a little bit of homeware shopping and then we'll come back and just hopefully I don't even know we'll just work our way through the list of things that we have to get done today so let's go and take a look at what's been happening upstairs right so we're gonna go upstairs I feel like I'm forever taking you lot upstairs so we're going upstairs and this is the progress that we've made so far so I've probably showed you already the doors that we've got uh, now in here these white doors kind of got like a barn kind of effect I think on them I just really, really like them um so yeah and we painted the walls in here um let me see if I can just brighten this up a bit so you can see so we painted the walls um in here we've painted them what color are they Egyptian cotton so these are Egyptian cotton, the colour on the walls, um, and it's from Dulux, and it's what we've got for most of our house. We've got mat in the hallways, and we've got the silk in the bedroom, because it just gives like a a more, well you said a bougie feel, didn't you sweetheart? Bougie. It gives a bougie feel to the room, so yeah. And then this is where I've been doing my makeup and my hair today amongst dust and mess and everything but this is the room that well, that was plastered last night this is the last room to get plastered um with the you can see the window in now and this is going to be a built-in wardrobe here you'll eventually see it's got just tons of tools at the moment but that's eventually going to be a built-in wardrobe as well but this is the smallest room in the house it actually goes around as well so there's plenty of room i'm trying to keep this camera as steady as possible because I know that this one just doesn't cope with bouncing around very much so and then in this room we've got this well, we've got loads of mess but this room is almost done it's painted this room's going to be just white with kind of blue accents so if you've ever watched I mean you can't see anything there that's better um so if you've ever watched um my any of my videos really where I've been in my office, it's pretty much the same kind of blues that you can see and the browns and greys kind of all blended in together. So that's what this room will look like when it's done. And I promise I will take you on a proper tour so you guys can see the finished product of everything. But in the main bedroom, let me just oh, right there. try not to bounce this around too much. Here's Richard. Writing on my hand. Just writing on his hand. And all of his tools. Where are your tools from, sweetheart? 
numerous places. Oh, but, okay. Uh, DeWalt. So okay. I've, I've used DeWalt because the battery you use them in every single tool. They're just a great brand, to be fair. Okay. So they work well. Quite Brilliant. Tough. So we have been basically, we're not remotely sponsored by DeWalt or anything like that, but it's just... I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, they just thought, if you did want to know what tools he's using to completely do our entire house, apparently it's DeWalt. So this is our bed, Um, well, what was a bed, and now it's just a landing ground for wood. You're sleeping in there tonight, love. Oh, lovely. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and then these are the wardrobe doors that we're having. So, what are you doing now, then? Uh, apart from making mess. Yeah, so um, what's all this? Yeah, I've built the framework for the wardrobe. We've got the top runner track in the top there, which these wheels just run inside of. Um, that just sits inside there. We've masked it all off. We just put a stud work frame around it, basically, just to stud off the walls and make it the size that we wanted to make make it all work. Um, I've put the shelf supports in on the side before doing anything else because there's going to be a panel there. I can't get a drill in at that angle. So panel's coming down that side, so we're going to have shelves there. Now we've got a rail across here, another panel, another rail. And then shelves down there, so it's pre mirrored. Um, so it's going to be like a twin set, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. big shelf across the top. Um, I've cut out this section of it just for ease of access getting in there. If that was brought all the way up there, you've only got a small window to get into, so cut that back a bit further. So you've still got a decent amount of shelf space. So being there. thoughtful to the next people who move in as well, yeah, exactly. Brilliant, great. So, what have you got to do next? So next is cutting some panels here to do the divisions, so mm -hmm. all the verticals. So there's going to be a panel there, a panel there, and a panel on the inside of this What's one. sticking out? Yeah, they're coming out. They're going to be dividing the sections up. Okay. So after I've put those in and built that across there, put the shelves in, rail in, shelves in, we're practically there. Brilliant! Um, but yes, then we can put our clothes out of the lounge. Yay! I was just saying that I cannot wait for you to finish this because I want my clothes somewhere other than in our living room. What time did we start? I started about 10 o'clock, it's now 2. Yeah. So done all this in four hours. And then when do I have to paint this? Tonight. Oh, yeah. You can paint it tonight with what the clothes going, really. Yay! So I'm going to be painting this tonight. But now I'm going to take you guys shopping to go and see if there's any homeware that we need for this house spend more money yeah <laughs> carefully carefully spent money yeah, yeah. from my little shopping trip that I had to do today to go get some stuff for the house. Um, I have got Richard to put in some of the lights or put up some of the light shades that I bought because I'm trying to decide which ones I think will go in this house. They're all fairly reasonably priced all from the range. I'll leave all of them below in the description box so if you, you know, near the range or you want to order online i don't know if you can order online from the range um but yeah the, i'm going to show you some of those in a minute show you kind of the progress that's been done but right now i am just on my laptop and if you can see i'm just on my laptop um 
and I'm trying to and my dog is just loving life at the moment because he's just had tea um I'm trying to I basically oh, made a silly mistake let me just move out of the way of the light for a minute so you can see so yeah I basically made a bit of a mistake I um with my drop shipping company that I use for my prints I was putting in the orders because I like to manually um put my orders into my drop shipping company i know you can do so with print for for example you can do it completely automated if you want to do it that way so they literally take the order um you don't have to do anything when an order is placed for example in your etsy shop or an amazon shop or something like that i have both an etsy and an amazon shop um but i decided i like to go on there check the orders every day and put the orders through so i had an order the other day the normal standard order and i put it through but i made the silly mistake and then i waited for it to be fulfilled and then i went to obviously just let the people know because i mean literally it's just a couple of clicks it's not like i actually have to create anything so i don't mind doing it manually but I went to uh, tell the, the customer that the order had gone through and I realised when I was looking at the shipping address, I just looked at ship, scanned to the shipping address again, that it was an American shipping address that it was meant to be going to, but that I'd stupidly put it in as the UK, the United Kingdom, so, and the order was fulfilled from Printful, so they were sending it to that location, but it's the wrong location for the house, um, or for the order to be sent to, sorry my dog's scraping around on the floor so basically i've just had to go in and reorder the print and i'm just trying to get them to rush through the order so that it obviously you know it's not keeping the customer waiting at all um but yeah that was that was just really annoyed me i'm, I'm glad I, i'm glad that i saw it thank goodness to be fair that i saw that i'd made that error obviously if printful were doing it themselves they probably wouldn't make that error but i am glad that i went in i saw that there was an error and i've been able to correct it so i just basically had to redo the order um and i'm just waiting for them to put that through so i keep checking just to just to get that through as quick as possible because i don't want someone waiting for a print all the others went through fine i literally just forgot to change it from the united kingdom to the united states so somewhere somehow there's a delivery man who's trying to deliver to an address that doesn't even exist so that's a good start sorry i just had to go and sort out my dog he wanted a treat so i caved it only had a treat um but yeah it's been really really good during this whole house renovation so i've probably been a bit soft on it than i usually am but yeah so basically i had to correct that mistake i've never made that mistake before i've been using printful now for probably about two years and i've never made that mistake but yeah i was just really glad that i caught that and hopefully that order will go through fine but then also i've just been keeping track of the sales of my course um so i'm just basically sitting down and just calculating the final number of how much i've made on this course launch it's been really interesting because this course launch has been going on whilst i've been doing the house renovation so it's really put that business to the test of how well it can run on its own and i am really pleased with how well it has just run on its own and how i've just had to basically just come in and just answer any questions questions going on or anybody who you know wants to chat about anything then I can just go in and answer those but yeah so really glad that the course is doing okay for itself I think this might be the highest paying course this time I don't know I've got to sit down and do the numbers um but also I'm just I'm using this evening because Richard's gone out he's just climbing where they go I don't know if you know what climbing is but basically it's like this indoor center that they i think it's called bouldering i know i don't know what it's called but he's doing he's doing something like that so he's so it's just me on my own with house this evening so i'm gonna sit down i think and because it's the end of my course launch i'm gonna sit down and calculate everything about my course launch but also obviously my um our printable business how much my printable business has made how much my ebooks have made how much my affiliate income has made how much youtube's made i just like to pretty much every month just sit down and work all that out but because i've had a big course launch that kind of changes the numbers this month so i'm gonna just if i get the chance to sit down and do that today but i've been rambling and rambling about that but i just wanted to keep you guys up to date about the, the digital side of things because you know just because I'm renovating house doesn't mean that the digital side of building my income 
stops it doesn't at all and i'm quickly going to show you some of the products that i got today as well or or home decor pieces that i got today as well so i'm gonna just see if i can turn the light on and that you can still get a good view of what you're looking at so this is the first light that i purchased uh this like i said is from the range um i can't i can't remember what it's called i'll put all the links in the description for everything below just in case you do want it but this is one of the lights that i'm umming and ahhing about having uh it's a kind of it's a smoky gray effect light so i don't know if i turn it off if maybe you can't really you can't see it at all if i turn it off so it's better to have it on but yeah, and it's got like these little kind of, they're not real crystal, obviously they're just like plastic, but gives like a crystal-y effect. So you can't tell from a distance that they're not, you know, what they look, what they're meant to look like. But yeah, I really like this line. I'm thinking about having one here and one over here. And I just wasn't sure, I didn't get two of them because I wasn't sure whether it was going to look just too over the top. But actually seeing them in the in the land on the landing actually does make me think i really do like them so then as we go into here so i've got richard to hang each one up in turns so that you can kind of get a feel for what each light looks like is this light and this is just a super simple light it's still got the wrapping on it so um yeah it, ignore the fact that it's like gleaming like as if it's glittering because it's not but it's just a fabric light i don't know if i can zoom you in and it was really inexpensive i think this was the cheapest one out of all of them from the range but it's a really nice gray color and it's got these kind of stripe soft stripe effects on going on here and because we've kind of got it is gray it looks a bit brown there but it's actually more gray because we've got a lot of gray going on in this room it's a very gray and blue room i also want a really big chunky knit throw for this room as well to go over the end of the bed when this is all done i don't even want to show you how messy this room is but trust me it will all go to it will all come together in the end hopefully i am just going for a less expensive light um than what perhaps i would have you know if it was just like we were going to be living there the whole time sorry it's literally bright blue in here so i can't be in here so yeah so i am gonna probably stop here now stop talk waffling on and talking to you guys about the house and things like that because it is finally getting to a point where we don't have to i don't have to you know spend all my time wading through rubble which is really really nice the carpets go down on tuesday so that's i can't i cannot wait for that i never thought i'd appreciate carpet so much but i just cannot wait for new carpet so yeah i'm excited for that um but yeah i just thought i'd keep you guys up to date with kind of how the house renovations going but also how my course launch went and also how my businesses are going and just the stuff you know what's happening in the day in the life of somebody who builds businesses or creates income streams online so i hope that you are enjoying these kind of more vlog styles i know that i i don't really know if you guys enjoy me doing more vlogs or me doing more about you know the day-to-day -day running of how i run my businesses and things like that but that's kind of what i'm enjoying talking about right now um on the youtube channel and obviously i don't really have a set place to go and sit down and do sit down videos yet so i cannot wait till my office is done this room over here till that room is done um because when that room's done then i'll have an office again and i'll be able to do a bit more sit down videos but i just wanted to take you guys on this journey with me so if you're enjoying these videos i'd love if you would subscribe definitely let me know which one of the lights that you prefer most and if you know you have any other suggestions of places to go in the uk to find really inexpensive things for houses that's really really great any home decor for housing because that's exactly what i i need right now uh, along this journey of you know flipping properties and selling properties but yeah i'll see you in the next video guys where hopefully we'll be so much closer towards the house being done and hopefully you know i'll have more to show you with what's going on with my online businesses and things like that so if you have any video suggestions as well i'd love to know any video suggestions that you have as well so i will see you in the next video guys and i will see you soon bye